Hello and welcome back. Um, if you saw the last video, you'll have seen that I'm well on with replacing the heater channel on the driver's side of the car. Uh, there it is there, look, the A-pillar almost fully welded in, channel almost fully welded, but I had to stop because uh, I need a new body mount panel. So I've moved on to the front instead. Uh, this is the passenger side, right-hand drive car, remember? Passenger side, front in a wing, you can see it's a bit frilly. The spare wheel well is also, uh, where are we, there we are, quite rotten. See my hand through there. Oops. <laughs> this is difficult. Oh, hang on, we'll do that way instead. Right, there we are. You can see that's quite frilly as well. And the driver's side is not as bad, which is strange because the rest of this side was worse than the other side. But this isn't quite so bad. But it's still got holes in it. So, uh, luckily, the actual apron itself seems to be all good. And in fact, in the spare wheel well, the apron there is completely separated so i think i'm going to be able to save the actual apron and just replace all the stuff behind the scenes um this is quite rusty as well here that's the um the bit the spare wheel rests against i'm not sure what it's called on uh, on other cars that's where the washer bottle sits obviously this is a mexi so it's got mod cons like uh, electric washers so what I'm going to do, start off by getting all the under seal off there and the stone chip and just seeing how far back the rot goes. I'll do the same on the other side and I'll reveal all these spot wells along here so that I can drill that out neatly and save the um, the valance there, the apron. Right, I'll get my lights set up and uh, get on with that. With all the under seal and stone chip all taken off now, you can sort of see the extent of the rot. There's obviously a big hole there, one there, one down here. So what I've done is I've highlighted with a black marker all of the spot welds that need to be, well, all the spot welds and where they are. And then I've decided that there's a, like a box section behind this which supports the fuel tank. And I think the strongest repair will be to cut in the middle of that and down. So the top part is still located by all of these um, spot welds here. The bottom piece of it will be spot welded to or plug welded to the new panel, and then I'll just butt weld along that join there. The butt weld will be hidden because um, it's actually sort of below that that piece on the other side. There, it's kind of in line with those holes, so that'll be nice and, and strong and well hidden. This butt weld on the inside here is going to be visible because it's going to be sort of there on this side. Uh, so nothing I can do about that, but um, I think the first thing to do really is now that I know which spot welds to drill out I'll drill those and then get the grinder and cut that Right got the welds drilled out and uh, now it's just a case of cutting out along the lines Already done that small piece there and it's come out really well So uh, I'll just crack on with that and show you when it's finished Uh, before I get stuck into this, I just want to say thanks to all my new subscribers. I'm up to 575 at the time of filming this. Uh, that's absolutely brilliant. I never expected to get that many uh, and it seems to be growing every day. If you are watching this and you're not subscribed yet, please click on subscribe. It only takes a second and it really helps keep me motivated. And believe me, I need all the help I can get with this thing at the moment. Right. That said, let's crack on with this. Uh, today I am doing the uh, front bumper mount on what is the driver's side, it's a right-hand drive car. I'll just turn the camera around, just wait a second. There we go. So we're looking at, turn the light around so we can see it, oh, that's better. We're looking at replacing this bumper mount here. You see it's rotten at the bottom there, and uh, there's a little hole there. That's rotten there. So uh, we need to cut that out. Probably going to be taking the valance off as well, um, but I will be reusing that. Um, I've got this front clip here, which has been used on another car. That's been welded to another car, but it never actually made it onto the road. So this will be being used to uh, to provide the panels. The whole of the front of this car is in quite a poor state. This is what is the driver's side. It's the right hand side, right hand car. The apron itself is fine. What is the pump? Turn the lights around. Nope. 
Yeah, it's in its blare. What is the right hand, sorry, the left hand side of the car has got a great big hole in it. There, the bottom of the spare wheel well, and you can see the gap there, and also the body mount panel inside there, all need attention. All of which are on that front clip, so I can use that. Uh, but I'm going to do the easy side next. I've cut this out already, but I'm going to go and do the other side now because that's the easy one and it's a quick and easy win. I'll just walk around here again. There we are. So what I'll do is I'll set the camera up and uh, on the tripod and get stuck into this. New camera, by the way, so hopefully it's a decent picture. Um, I won't know yet until I try and edit it, but uh, fingers crossed it's good. Right, I'll see you in a minute. top here and then there's that bit there and then I think that front balance or oh, no the um bonnet release cable needs to come off as well uh, and then I think I think this will come off then right cable released from the catch there's a couple of spot welds just there and some on this side up the top here so I will drill those out next and that little bit of weld needs cutting off there and then I think this should come off. Right, apologies if this is a bit shaky because I'm holding the camera in my hand. But you can see on that side I've already cut the, the inner wing out. This is the side that needs to be cut out next. And this piece at the bottom here, the um, where the spare wheel sits, is all rusty as well. You can just see there um, where it's already started to separate. So I'm thinking now what I should do is cut this bottom piece out, cut this piece out, and then and keep the, the new clip together so it's got that side, the bottom and this side all in one piece. It welds along here to the what is the windscreen washer bottle recess on earlier cars. This one's flat uh, and it will help keep it all in one place and keep all the welding nice and easy. So I think that's the way I'm going to go. So I'm going to remove this bottom piece here cut this off now that I've got the measurements to relocate it exactly and then I will do a lot of trimming and make the new clip fit in there but I'm also going to have to patch up some rust on this piece, the piece there and the piece there um, so I think if I remove this first and perhaps do this a little bit later because it doesn't need to come out at the same time I can repair that panel, this panel and then it will be ready to go then I put the new piece back in um, yeah, I think that's the way to do it. That's what I'm going to do next. I've decided to repair these pieces first because they look quite straightforward. It's just a flat piece of metal with a bend on it. So the first step is to remove these access covers. So one there, one there, and that one for the gear shift rod that I've already taken off. Just need to quickly show you this. I've mentioned before this car was a left-hand drive car that was converted to right-hand drive when it was imported in 2000. Um, this is the factory 
left hand drive access to the steering box which I've just taken the uh, the cover off I had to grind the head off the screw because that was, was seized but that doesn't matter so that's the factory opening and the the firm <laughs> the company the bunch of monkeys that did the conversion cut an opening for the right hand side uh, for the access to the steering box and that opening looks like that dearie me it's <laughs> it looks like they've They've chewed it off with an angry beaver. Nice and neat. Laughably bad. I mean, it doesn't really matter because it's covered up by the, the panel anyway. But look at the state of it. Dear, oh dear. I've got the first one marked up now where I'm going to cut it. Um, I like to put a pen line around as well because I find that the, uh, the cutting disc makes the tape lift off sometimes and you can lose your mark. But if you put a pen mark around it where the tape is, then you can still see it quite clearly and you can cut quite neatly to that. Just looking at this I've decided that it's probably going to be easier to extend that cut all the way along there and just replace one long panel rather than two short ones. Uh, that's going to be easier to make the panels, there's going to be less welding in the middle there and it'll give me better access to this so that I can properly rust treat it before I weld the new piece on. So it's now treated with rust um, converter, so that should be all good. Cleaned up the edges of the panel and the patch rather, and the actual body itself. So that can go in there, be welded on now. And then I've got the piece for there, which will go on after this. So I'll switch to the camera and uh, do some welding. To make a template, I was able to mark out the, the cut lines on the new panel and did this for both sides so that it could be fitted up in one go. Next, I drilled out the spot welds and separated the bits I need from the bits I don't need of the new front clip. Right, after a fair bit of cutting and drilling, 
there it is. That's the piece that I need. It's too big at the moment, needs trimming down to size. But uh, yeah, that came off all right. I'm quite pleased with that. Right, I've got this temporarily clamped in place. There's nothing on this end yet because it needs trimming. It is way too big. It needs trimming right down. But I've trimmed the other side and uh, I'm pleasantly surprised at how well it fits. Let's come around here and have a look. Are you ready for this? Ta da! Everything lines up where it should do, all the, all the creases. That's going to look great when it's welded in. I'm very, very pleased with that. Um, I need to fit the wing first and make sure that everything's in the right place before I actually weld it in. So it's just clamped with these intergrips and the uh, and the mole grips there. But uh, yeah, I am very happy with that. Get the other side the same and I'll be a happy bunny. And that's it all trimmed up and clamped into place. I slipped up a little bit. There's a bit of a big gap there that um, I'm going to have to fill. Um, I, I marked it wrong and cut it wrong. There's a lesson there, don't do that. Uh, otherwise, um, yeah, I'm very pleased with the way it fits. It just needs pushing back into place there before it gets welded. And obviously these gaps will close up a bit. Uh, it's just clamped in place so it doesn't fall on the floor. Now, I've had the apron on, that fits. It looks really good, it all lines up properly. I've not had the wings on yet because they're actually in the other unit, so I need to go and get them. But um, I'm gonna call it a day now and, and get back and edit this. This is obviously gonna have to be a two part video. Um, so the next one will be actually welding that in and then putting the valance on. Um, so yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching. Uh, like, comment and subscribe and all that. And I'll see you next time. Cheers. Bye.